good morning <coughs> and jayin to all now last video we discuss what is trigonometry and uh, some result based on that topic today i like to discuss some problems uh, based on that uh, topic so i mean in trigonometry so very simple questions now start the class our first question is if sin x is equal to minus 1 by 2 sin x is equal to minus 1 by 2 x lies in third quadrant x lies in third quadrant find all other five trigonometric function find all other five trigonometric function you know in our previous video we discuss the sign of trigonometric function first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and is fourth quadrant in the first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive in second quadrant we use a technique silver here s correspond to sin and is reciprocal cosec is positive in third quadrant tan and all silver t cups t a t cups apo tan and is reciprocal cot is positive here cups here c represent cos and is reciprocal cos uh, c is positive that means the first quadrant all trigonometric functions are positive the second sin and cosec are positive the third tan and cot are positive and fourth quadrant uh, cos and sec are positive okay here we discuss uh, the all five trigonometric function using the value sin x is equal to minus 1 by 2 in this type of problem first you take is positive value i mean you take sin x is equal to plus 1 by 2 first you take sin x is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 then we form a right triangle suppose you take a b c here we make an angle x you know sin x means opposite side divided by hypotenuse that is opposite side is 1 and its hypotenuse 2 then using pythagoras theorem ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square here ac2 is square is 4 ab correspond to 1 square is 1 and plus bc square and therefore bc square is equal to 4 minus 1 sorry 4 minus 1 is 3 and therefore bc equal to we get answer root 3 okay here bc correspond to root 3 now we find all six trigonometric function that is a good uh, it's a best way for finding other five trigonometric function also okay so that means first of all we find sin x already given that is uh, first year, uh, here sin x is opposite side by hypotenuse 1 by 2 then cos x you know cos x adjacent side by hypotenuse we get answer root 3 divided by 2 then tan x tan x means opposite by adjacent side that is 1 by root 3 then cosec you know cosec is the reciprocal of sin that is 2 divided by 1 then sec x reciprocal of cos that is 2 divided by root 3 and last cot cot x reciprocal of tan root 3 divided by 1 then you sel uh, select which quadrant the given trigonometric function lie here the third quadrant here our function trigonometric function lies in the third quadrant you know in the third quadrant tan and cot are positive in the third quadrant tan and cot are positive tan and cot are positive okay that means all other trigonometric functions are negative that means sin x is negative cos x is negative cosec is negative and sec is negative that's all we get answer sin x is equal to minus 1 by 2 cos x is equal to minus root 3 by 2 tan x is equal to 1 by root 3 cosec x is equal to minus 1 by, minus 2 sec x is equal to minus 2 by root 3 cot x is equal to root 3 because on the third quadrant tan and cot are positive all other four trigonometric funds are negative that's all we get answer okay 
Now, discuss one more question based on this typing problem. Now, discuss tan x is equal to tan x is equal to 3 divided by 4. X lies in x lies in third quadrant. X lies in third quadrant. Find all other five trigonometric functions. Okay, tan x is equal to 3 by 5. The already, this function is already at a positive term. So, first of all, you write tan x is equal to 3 divided by 4. Then we form a right triangle. Here we max an angle x, a, b, c. Tan x, you know, tan opposite side divided by adjacent side. And therefore, using Pythagoras theorem, a c square is equal to b c square plus a b square. Now b c square means 16 plus 3 square is 9 is equal to 25 and therefore its root value is 5. That is a c equal to 5. Okay. Next we find sin x. You know sin x opposite side divided by hypotenuse. That is we get answer 3 by 5. Cos x adjacent side by hypotenuse. That is 4 divided by 5 tan x that is opposite side divided by adjacent side then cosec x reciprocal sign that is 5 divided by 3 sec x is 5 divided by 4 reciprocal of cos and last cot x reciprocal of tan that is 4 divided by 3 then check given function is lies in which quadrant is third quadrant you know all silver t cups all silver t cups that is the third quadrant tan and cot are positive all other four trigonometric functions are negative here that means sin x is negative cos x is negative tan is positive cosec is negative and sec is also negative cot x is also positive that's all okay Now we'll discuss some different types of some questions. Uh, cos x is equal to cos x equal to minus 3 divided by 5. x lies in third quadrant. x lies in third quadrant. x lies in third quadrant. Find all other five trigonometric functions. Hence, prove that 25 sin x, 25 sin x. 25 sin x plus 5 cos x, 5 cos x, the whole divided by 9 tan x, 9 tan x plus 16 cot x, 16 cot x is equal to minus 23 divided by 24, is equal to minus 23 divided by 24, okay. You are given cos x is equal to minus 3 by 4. First of all, we write this positive term that is cos x is equal to plus 3 by 5. Then we form a right triangle A, B, and C. You know cos x. Here we make an angle x. You know cos x adjacent side by hypotenuse. That is 3 divided by 5. And therefore, here we get the answer 25 and that is AC square. Using Pythagoras theorem, AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. And therefore, AB square is answer is AC square minus BC square. AC square minus BC square. You know AC is 5. The square value 25. Minus BC correspond to 3. The square value 9. And therefore, is equal to 16. And therefore, AB is equal to, we get answer 4. That means the altitude is 4. Next, we find other function. I mean, uh, first, uh, first of all, then we find all trigonometric function. The values of all trigonometric function. That is sin x. You know what is sin x? Opposite side by hypotenuse. That is 4 divided by 5. Then cos x. Adjust side by hypotenuse. Then tan x. That is tan x. Opposite by adjacent side. That is 4 divided by 3. Then is reciprocal cosec. Cosec is 5 by 4. Sec x is 5 divided by 3. And last cot x 
is equal to 3 divided by 4. You already know our function lies in third quadrant. That means all silver teacups. Third quadrant, tan and cot are positive, all other are negative. That is sin is negative, cos negative, cos is negative, and sec is also negative. Cortex is positive. Value. Okay. Next, we have to prove that 25 sin x, 25 sin x plus 5 cos x, the whole divided by 9 tan x plus 16 cot x is equal to, we have to prove that minus 23 by 24. You have to prove that minus 23 by 24. That is 25 into, what is sin x here? Minus 4 divided by 5 plus 5 into what is cos x minus 3 divided by 5 the whole divided by 9 into tan x that is 4 divided by 3 plus 16 into cot x that is 3 divided by 4 here 5 5 cancel here also 5 5 cancel here 3 3 cancel 4 4 cancel and therefore balanced 5 into minus 4 is minus 20 then 5 into minus 3 is minus sorry uh, sorry plus into minus minus 3 the whole divided by 3 into 4 here 5 cancel 3 into 4 is 12 plus 12 that is equal to we get answer minus 23 divided by 24 okay we get our answer we have to prove that 25 sin x plus 5 cos x divided by 9 tan x plus 16 cot x is equal to we get answer minus 23 by 24. Okay, now discuss one more question based on this type of problems. Tan x equal to minus 3 divided by 4. x lies in second quadrant. x lies in second quadrant. x lies in second quadrant. Find all other 5 trigonometric functions. Hence, prove that 25 sin x, hence prove that 25 sin x minus 10 cos x, 10 cos x, the whole divided by 8 sec x, 8 sec x minus 27 cot x, 27 cot x is equal to 23 divided by 26. Tan x is equal to minus 3 by 4. First you take the positive value of this trigonometry function that is plus 3 by 4. Then we form a right triangle A, B and C. Here we make an angle x. You know tan x opposite side divided by adjusted side that is 3 divided by 4. Then using Pythagorean relation we get root of 3 square plus 4 square that is root of 25 is answer is 5. Then find all uh, uh, six trigonometric functions. First is sin x opposite by hypotenuse, that is 3 divided by 5. Then cos x adjacent side by hypotenuse, that is 4 by 5. Then tan x, that is opposite side divided by adjacent. Then cos reciprocal, that is 5 by 3. Sec x, reciprocal 5 by 4 and last cortex reciprocal of tan 4 by 3. We know our function lies in second quadrant where all silver take up sin and is reciprocal cosec are positive all other are negative that is sin is positive cos negative tan negative cosec is positive sec and cot are also negative. Next we have to prove that 25 sin x minus 10 cos x divided by 8 sec x minus 27 cot x is equal to 23 divided by 26. Okay. Function to our question. 25 sin x minus 10 cos x the whole divided by 8 sec x minus 27 cot x is equal to 25 into. You know the value of sin x is 3 by 5. 3 divided by 5 minus 10 into cos x is minus 4 by 5 minus 4 divided by 5 the whole divided by 8 into sec x that is minus 5 by 4 minus 5 divided by 4 minus 27 into 
cortex cortex minus 4 by 3 minus 4 divided by 3 okay here 25 5 cancel here 2 here 2 9 that is equal to 5 into 3 15 plus minus into minus plus 2 into 4 8 the whole divided by 2 into minus 5 that is minus 10 then 9 into 4 36 minus into minus plus 36 that is equal to 23 divided by 26 okay we get answer that's all okay okay i have one more question similar to this type of question okay next question is if cx is equal to 13 by 5 cx is equal to 13 divided by 5 and x lies in fourth quadrant x lies in fourth quadrant find all other five trigonometry function hence find the value of 25 6 square x plus 12 cot x plus 12 cot x the whole divided by 169 sine square x 169 sine square x plus 5 sec x 5 sec x okay hence find the value of 25 6 square x plus 12 cot x divided by 169 sine square x plus 5 sec x okay here x lies in fourth quadrant this function is already a positive function and therefore you take again sec x is equal to 13 divided by 5 then you form a right triangle a b c here angle x you know sec x is the reciprocal of cos x you know cos x adjusted by hypotenuse that is sec x hypotenuse by adjusted side that is hypotenuse 13 and adjusted side 5 therefore square root of using Pythagorean relation root of 13 square minus 5 square 13 square is 169 and 5 square is 25 169 minus 25 is 144 and its root value is 12 and therefore sin x is equal to opposite by hypotenuse that is 12 divided by 13 cos x equal to 5 divided by 13 tan x is equal to opposite by adjusted that is 12 by 5 then cosec x reciprocal that is 13 by 12 sec x 13 by 5 and last cot x is 5 divided by 12 you know our function lies in which quadrant fourth quadrant uh, all silver teacups c c correspond to cos and its reciprocal c are positive that is all other are negative cos is positive and c is negative positive tan is negative cos is negative and cot x is also negative now we find the value of 25 secant square x plus 12 cot x by 169 sin square x plus 5 sec x that is 25 into secant square x you know sec x is 13 by 5 and the square value is uh, 169 divided by 5 square is 25 plus 12 into cot x is minus 5 by 12 that is minus 5 divided by minus 5 divided by 12 the whole divided by 169 into sin square x what is sin x minus 12 by 39 square value is 144 divided by 169 plus 5 into sec x you know sec x 13 divided by 5 13 divided by 5 okay here 25 25 169 169 cancel 12 12 5 5 cancel that is 169 minus 5 divided by 144 plus 13 that is equal to 164 divided by 7 5 1 1 57 164 divided by 157 okay okay that's all okay that's okay when our next uh, that's all our next video we discuss about the reduction formula for trigonometry function that's all today's class Bye.